Eugene Fafik, time to be defensive here. To what degree, you say? Um, Scott, Scott, I think the best thing to do now is barbell your portfolio, right, to have, um, for us, it's industrials on one side and healthcare on the other side. And the reason I say that is that um, I don't think it matters whether the Fed next week raises 25 basis points or not. I think the statement is going to be the important factor. Um, they have to certainly recognize that um, damage is being done and that because we operate in the lag effect and no one knows exactly how much damage has been done and rules show up in the lag effect, um, that they should be more prudent now. So I think investors are better safe now than not. I'm not making a call to go um, to cash by any means, but um, if you look at today and we before the banking situation last week, if we had to produce a price number that we had this morning um, without the other information, um, essentially the stock market would have rallied because um, the thought would have been that maybe the Fed would slow down. Now the focus is more on the fact that the economic damage might be more um, intense and more mm -hmm. sudden than was previously thought in most investors' portfolio. So there's a little bit of adjustment so, going on. If that's the case, why do you favor industrials as one of the two groups you like along with healthcare? Because if you, if you look actually over the last five days, of course, industrials got hit very hard. Look at Caterpillar and United Rentals, right? I mean, United Rentals has been up 60% over the past six months before we got to the banking sector. You still have a big focus on governmental action coming in, infrastructure spending you know, going on. So um, I think that you might not be right. The economy might not completely. And on the other side of that, um, you're able to actually pick up a company like in United Rentals that has gone up quite a bit, but sold off 18% over the last five days, um, still very reasonably priced. And essentially, that's what you mean by barbell and portfolio. You kind of position yourself to benefit um, regardless of which way the economy goes. Hike or pause? What happens a week from today before I let you run? I, I, think, they, I think they pause, and I think it, it basically will be in a statement. Um, they may do the 25 basis points. I know a lot of folks are talking about their credibility. I don't think the 25 basis points makes a difference one way or the other. They're going to basically be very strong in the statements and recognize the damage being done to the economy, recognize that maybe um, the slowdown is occurring, inflation is resolving, and whether or not they raise 25 basis points, I think the statement's going to suggest that they're going to be pausing soon thereafter. All right, Eugene, thank you very much.